Commission ostensibly acting on the orders of the National Security Council with General Museveni chairs, ordered the service providers to switch off access to the internet and later mobile money services shortly before, during and after the day of the election, thereby impeding a free flow of information among the voters as well as frustrating efforts to facilitate my polling agents. The Electoral Commission acted without transparency when it announced and declared provisional results of the 2021 presidential elections without declaration forms from the relevant polling station and tally sheets from the relevant district returning mm -hmm. officers, contrary to the law in a manner that cast doubt in the source and authenticity of the results. Final results later declared by the Electoral Commission were based on the tally, were based on tally sheets and DR forms bearing dates reading 18 January 2021, four days later than when they ought to have been conclusively there. At all material times while reading the provisional results, the National Tally Center was swarmed by Museveni's SFC presidential guards who wore Electoral Commission t-shirts and caps to disguise themselves. And they stood next to Mr. Yabakama, the Electoral Commission chairperson, as he read the results. You all saw that. You even saw him stammer. B. General Museveni was not qualified to contest for the presidential office. I say that again. General Museveni was not qualified to contest for the presidential seat. Section 4. B of the Presidential Election Act of 2005 as amended disqualifies from the election for president a person holding or acting in an office the functions of which involve the responsibility for in connection with the conduct of an election. At the time of this of this nomination, General Seven was holding the offices of the head of state, the head of government. Commander in Chief and Chairperson of the National Security Council, which offices are required by law to ensure the equal protection of presidential candidates as well as adequate provision of security at the presidential candidates' campaign meetings. As the nation witnessed, ladies and gentlemen, General Museveni instead used these offices to perpetuate unmitigated and unhindered terror against me, my agents, the campaign team members, my supporters, before, during, and after the presidential campaign and presidential election. See, General Museveni and all his agents slash supporters on his orders and slash all with knowledge, with his knowledge and approval, committed several illegal practices and other electoral offenses. Other DCs, the resident district commissioners across Uganda, such as Darius Nandi, Nandinda of Kabale and, Nak, and Nakamya Ariet of Rubirizi, as well as police, office, police and military officers led by General Museveni's SFC guards, destroyed my campaign posters and replaced them with those of General Museveni. In one video shot between 18th and 19th of November 2020, Armed security operatives can be seen chasing and later shooting down the man who was running while carrying my campaign banner. That young man died. Nobody has ever been held accountable for his murder. During the election period, General Museveni and all his agents, with this knowledge and approval, bribed several former supporters of mine or members of my party, including Jasper Ebare and Gary Godwin, and so on, with money, with jobs, and with other gifts, including cars. And this was to influence him, to influence them to vote for him instead of voting for me. He also gave 300,000 to each of Uganda's 70,626 village local council committees for distribution in the villages to bribe. Voters. This was done 
countrywide. That was massive scale bribery. On more than 80% of the days I conducted campaigns, including on the 13th, the 15th, the 18th, the 19th, and the 25th of November 2020. And on the 1st, and the 6th, and the 10th, the 11th, the 24th, the 27th, and on the 30th of December 2020, military and police officers violently humiliated, maimed, inflicted grievous bodily harm and excruciating pain onto me, my campaign team, and my supporters. On several dates, particularly the 18th and 19th in November 2020, and on the 27th of November, during the campaign period, police and military officers murdered more than 100 people suspected of supporting me. And members of my campaign team such as Frank Senteza Kalipara, who was deliberately knocked down and killed by a military trap. Shortly before and on voting day, police and military officers in several parts of the country arrested my agents, confiscated their appointment letters, facilitation and logistics, which frustrated my ability to efficiently monitor and supervise the election process. Probably you would have 100% of the DR phones here. This happened, for instance, on the 12th of January 2021, when my agent, Mr. Aman Aineliona, was brutally arrested, and this was on camera, from Sun City Hotel in Mira, where he had gone to dis distribute appointment letters for my polling day, for, for my polling day agents. And uh, he was detained at Lira Police Station for several days. On 14th January, police in Okongi District beat and arrested my supervisor, Daula Atta, as he protested the electoral malpractices by General Museveni's agents. Unfortunately, on the 5th of February 2021, the Supreme Court blocked me from amending the petition mm -hmm. to add the ground that General Museveni was actually not qualified for election as president. And later, on the 15th of February 2021, they refused to receive around 200 affidavits containing critical evidence upon which we would have best to prove our case against General Museveni and his conspirators in the Supreme Court of Uganda. In both the cited instances, the Supreme Court acted as de facto respondent in the petition rather than the arbiter of justice when it conveniently relies on technicalities to reject our evidence without any prior objection to the evidence by General Museveni and his co-respondent and without first according me as the petitioner an opportunity to be heard, they did that. That was unfair. In one instance, the court's registrar went as far as swearing an affidavit opposing the evidence that we intended to file. In my opinion, the court demonstrated bias against me in several incidences, sorry, in several incidents, such as when it blocked me from filing the petition on a Saturday that was started January 2021. But it allowed General Museveni to file his defense on a Saturday, on 6 February 2021. Through its actions on the 5th and on the 15th of February 2021, when Chief Justice Alphonse Owini Dolo met and made material requests to General Museveni on the 5th, on the 10th, and on the 16th of February, as if to imply that the petition had already been determined in General Museveni's favor. And later during the court's uh, proceedings, that was on the uh, 19th of February 2021, Chief Justice Owini Doro scornfully implored me to apply Plan B if I, had the comp if I have no confidence in the court of law, among other instances. According, accordingly, when it became evident that the Supreme Court was not handling the petition with the dictates of justice, equity, and impartiality, and fairness as required by the Judicial Code 
and and, and uh, sorry, as uh, required by the judicial code of conduct and by the law, I was left with no option but to withdraw from the Supreme Court. <coughs> Mr. Biabakama and these six commissioners had suffocated the voice of the people of Uganda, and here was uh, the Chief Justice Alfonso Winidoro also mocking the people of Uganda. All these individuals, ladies and gentlemen, hold their offices in trust of the people of Uganda because by law they're supposed to be serving the people of Uganda. By, but they decided to betray that uh, trust and uh, decided to work for the one that appointed them, that is General Seven. So, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ugandans, today I am here to announce once again to all of you here and those watching us from afar that we are on our own. We have brought the case back to the court of the people and the people of Uganda must now sit and pass judgment in this matter. People power, 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 power. People power. I will remind you that in 1980, that is 40 years ago, General Museveni took part in an election which he, he lost miserably. He was not the second, neither was he the third. He claimed that the election had been rigged and took our people to the bush to fight and reclaim the victory. Hundreds of our people died, mothers, fathers, uncles, grandfathers, grandmothers, etc. All these people died in pursuit for a better country, for the rule of law, for real democracy. But what has Museveni done? He has betrayed the blood of our people and done many times worse than the regime that he castigated for rigging elections. Ugandans must now rise to the occasion and resist Museveni and this regime of blood. As we've been saying, our strategy is non-violent and lawful. I will say it again for clarity. Our strategy is non-violent and it is lawful. We shall not hold guns like Museveni did. Ours is going to be peaceful but very, very, very assertive. Are we our philosophy also stands firm that people power is stronger than the people in power. Article 3 of our country's constitution empowers the citizens of Uganda to do all in their power to restore the constitutional order once it has been usurped, just like it has been done under the Museveni regime. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is our next course of action. That is the next phase of our struggle. I want to call upon all of you, ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens, to rise up peacefully and unarmed. I say it again. I call upon you to rise up peacefully, unarmed, and demonstrate against a regime that has oppressed us. They've oppressed us, exploited us, and turned into slaves in our own country. This is a time when we must do this for ourselves, for our children, and for our children's children. I want to remind all of you that we have an opportunity to invoke Article 29 of the Constitution of Uganda, which unequivocally guarantees that the citizens of Uganda have the right to demonstrate peacefully and unarmed. I say it again. Article 29 of our Constitution empowers us to demonstrate peacefully and unarmed against any injustice. And that's exactly what we are calling you upon to do. I call upon all the citizens who feel oppressed, the women whose sons are missing, the Ugandans who voted, and your results were shortchanged. All the oppressed Ugandans come out and peacefully demonstrate against that impunity. We invite you to march to your respectful, to your respective district offices and seek answers. Those who cannot match, demonstrate in your own way, as long as it is lawful and non-violent. <laughs> I make this call to all Ugandans in the diaspora as well. I appreciate those of you that have already risen up in defense 
uh, of Uganda's democratic rights. I've seen quite a number of fellow Ugandans in the diaspora demonstrating peacefully. We can pick a leap, ladies and gentlemen, and do the same right here at home. We are protesting, ladies and gentlemen, for clarity. We are protesting with four demands. Number one, as we indicated that we actually won the 2021 presidential election, Museveni declared himself president. We demand that he returns the victory of the people of Uganda. If he says that he indeed won this election, there must be audits. There must be an audit to this election. It must be overseen by an independent body. Election audits have been used in other countries, including Sierra Leone, uh, Haiti, and Afghanistan. In Sierra Leone, you remember it was in 2007, in Haiti it was in 2010, and in Afghanistan it was in 2009 and 2015, mm -hmm. among others. Secondly, we demand that General Seven immediately puts an end to the abduction and kidnap of our people who are taken away from the dead. We demand that the security agencies return our people. We want those that have been abducted returned. Those that are, are being held in communicado, those that are being held in torture chambers and dungeons, we want them freed unconditionally. Those that they claim have uh, cases to answer, let them present them in competent courts. Those that are sick, we want them to take them to hospital. And those that they've murdered, we want their bodies so that we can afford them decent values. We want our people bring back our people. Number three. We demand that General Museveni releases all political prisoners with immediate effect. It is not a crime to support somebody. If it was a crime, there shouldn't have been presidential elections. But all of you remember that my entire campaign team was arrested and they are languishing in prison. Those are prisoners of conscience. We demand their immediate release. And finally, we are demanding that General Museveni immediately stops trying civilians in military courts. By law, civilians are not supposed to be tried in military courts. So we demand that those, our people who are not soldiers, are presented either in a civilian court or are released with immediate effect. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for God and our country. People power. People power. People power. People power. Kubako, Mwari, Governor 
yaragira amaje ku police ni bawamba amakaga ndi bazi bire waka nete bako nawo ne office za pe ze kibina cha pe cha national unity platform ni bazi kunguna na amaje Ali mubusibe okumara ina ku 10 alumu enga mateka baragira ndi mutwe na wabantu kwe mukunya aina ku dukira mu bugaza mateka koti ya gendo kunta babla ina ku nyazoka ogena mu koti na era twakola kwetu nuli sawa okulaba atu yakate ku musango tukutwala mu koti musango twakutwala mu koti enga bwe muzemula babaganda bange koti ya aga che kubira wajirekira okujulizi nabo mumbulaba wano amwe muri uh, video zi zaba sirikali naba polisi ezaba maje naba polisi babati kingo bululu video zi zali mo mwenyi wa mateko we chitalu twaba letira evidence ni affidavit ezira ga ni akachoko kebyo kulonda wanyekala ga ki abantu bitundu ebisuka kulukumi <laughs> Jeno Museveni ya reasize ya nilichamu Mubikumi uh, bikumi ne bikumi Pia polling station uvawa walundi wa Bali, bala zenti ya bandu Chikumi kuchikumi Mwabu kwe wandi sabu bazene walunda Na ye ngawe nsemba nyonyola Yubitundu vingi nyo Abandu wa wasinga bali wafa Era nete certificate Uwa certificate nsitaka kusoko fa kwa we Amwezili uh, Awandu wa wamu Awe winyi saa ye wape gomba Uchaluche uwe mtepaita lua weba Chetu ina abe nganda za, abe wanji si zao Na inga tebalo nda, wanga mambali wano nyeze wanga watu se Mambali wako atitua, ataba mambali na ebuto mpulu Wata soba na kubera o Na ye, mambibi ya waka ma, jena jena agamba Ya mambu wanga wewe wanji sa, balo nda Chetu ina obutuli ziri, omuli zide certificate Ezira ganti ya babantu kuzono, ali register di ngomu lonzi Na ye ya paa ngevulu mwa kakumu Angalu kabeo Nenga mwami vya baka makulaka Na ye ya jana ronda Nevi dale ipanga na webitu Kukutuli zibunji ngawe mbola ba wano Vasevo neva nyabo Ekoti ensukulumu ya lugana Na yate ngo kukutuli zi Uwe chika wechitu Ekoti ensukulumu ya bukiri zanga Misango jaba nkwa balala Yevaro uka Kume pili mkumu Pili mkaka Nemu pili kume na mkaka So evyo webiwe na webitio Kwa asala o, kwa tumazo kulaba, jekoti ya sukuru, nesaba la mzi owingi dolo, ainache kubira, atenga alia sinkana jeno musebeni, mulu watu, elatu tekeze kwa antu, wali wa sinkana, ni mchama. Kwa laba, katake na kuwaba na yukanda kumkanya, kukujayo msango. Nupa nyumalu wa mwani vya waka ma, na kachiko ke, akaba ntu mkaba, wakama ze, ulinyi lila, nitu kuzidia wana yukanda, ni maskulanga kuminanya jano hati. Nuru banyuma wekoti ya sukuru mjetuwa yu subiramu o wenkanya Ukaka santi genda kuwa wana yukanda wenkanya Tuasa zeo yugemi msango Eruru na kuluwa liru masemu ni banyabo Mkutongo le jakala okulopa msango oku Eri mwena wana yukanda Eranga jakala upate keza Kimwe muina uguinza okwela mula kusonge no Kito andika le rosero Sema teka Uwa Uganda, ama wa obuyinza mkawai unamba abili muenda Okwe kalakasa mudembe na temuina misi Mchita mu Constitution ya Uganda, sema teka Mkawai unamba abili muenda Eba wa edembe Okwe kalakasa mudembe Nga muinu ukwe murugunya Nolwe nsonge wa semu nebanyabu Eli muena, ababa deba buza Chichi echidako Uluvanyi malo kuita mitenda ya jona jona Nga yutuwa denga tuwa tegeza Ero uluvanyi malo kuita tegeza Nga uluvanyi malo hanyo no kogelwa No kolewa Mana yuganda mwemo gendo kola Kukusala ho kusemba yo Jaka leo kutuwa lumutisaku no kukubako uola Mena mana yuganda jemuli Habari wano no kweto lule nsiyo na Kukusitu kila mu Mudembe Katemuina wisi Mwekala kase Mwela ke Mwekala kase Mwekala kasa mutia, mwekala kasa mudembe, mwekala kasa ngamu stukiramu, ngamu genda, uzi wofisi, nisiku hati wako, kwe tole kwanga ni na. Na abata sobola.
kile lije muli basemu ne manyabu kwe kalakasa mungeri yonna je mba musobonde wo bongo bunji kutuna bana Uganda basamba nga muchikola mateka ate na muchikola emuiwa msai twanga lo kwe kalakasa katubanja ebintu bina soka kabe tubalaze kyo kulonda kwali kwa mazima nabwe nkanya ate mwami bya baka manaka chikoke ke byo kulonda kalangirira bifu so tubanja obwangu zibwafe kubanga twawangula tubalaze tuluba nyuma lo kufuna ko declaration forms entono endalanga bazi wambye era ze taina ne tukosa ezi za mwami bya baka ma ne wangu bade zali mu kulugu ne birumira bingi chira kibwa lunye sinzira ku declaration forms ze tuina wanu twakalulu ako waka wangu lida kubitundu ana kubitundu atano mubi na no kutundu tundu kumina mwenda kukati wali wakuba kubodi yao kwandu wangu lide mchinana no msobo so no luisongeyo tuba kunga wana yu kandaba nafe mwena jemuli kukusitu kama wikala kase mtembe nga mwaba anja wangu songeyo kubi waka lukwe kala kase lupa ita mwena mwikala kase mtembe Kamubanja abantu wape abazze bawambibwa abawambibwa mu zidroni ne mu moto kendala era kino kibadde kikolebwanga kubiragiro ya mwami mu 7 kwagala amaje police ne bitongo le bikoma dembe bikomyeo abantu wape obaba lamu obaba fu abo abalamu abawambibwa kati abamba